folks, it's me, Dr. Cuz, how you doing? I'm in Los Angeles, walking the streets of Los Angeles. Check this out, folks, I just called an Uber, and I'm curious to see what type of carbon dioxide levels are reached in a typical Uber situation with two people breathing in a vehicle. Folks, I've got the FD, Forensic Detectors Carbon Dioxide Monitor, and I'm curious to see what levels we reach in the Uber. I'll just give it a few minutes now, she'll be coming in a minute. Here we are, I think my Uber guy's right here. Is that him? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. All right, we've got a Prius. We've got a Prius. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Uh, How are you today? Good, good, good. What's your name, man? Uh, Austin. All right, I'm Dr. Kaz. How you doing? Nice to meet you. What are you doing? Nice there? to meet you, boss. Listen, um, just follow the directions that's in the Uber. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to be taking a carbon dioxide measurement. Um, I don't know if you know what carbon dioxide is. Have you ever heard of that, sir? Uh, yeah, we exhale carbon dioxide and um, it's getting quite important in this post-COVID world we're in. So if you don't mind, just take me to my destination and let's just see what happens to the carbon dioxide level in the vehicle. Let's keep a track on the time here so we know how fast this level is reaching in the Uber. Already 8.28, we started about 4.50. Four minute mark. 1067 climbing to 1100. Folks, we've exceeded 1100 and the alarm has been engaged. All right, folks, five minutes in, we're at 1100. I had to mute the alarm. I just got dropped off my Uber vehicle. That was fun. We surprised the driver and check it out. The CO2 levels increased quite rapidly, over 1,100 parts per million. That did not surprise me at all. Two adults breathing in a confined space, such as a vehicle cabin, a small vehicle, it was a Prius, and the heating, ventilation, air conditioning system, the HVAC system, was on recycle, so no fresh air was coming into the system, into the vehicle. So, what happened? Within five minutes, again, we exceeded 1,100 parts per million, and we know that that's a fairly magic number in indoor air quality with CO2, AB841, ASHRAE and others are recommending that sort of the limit, especially in this post-COVID-19 world. If it goes beyond that, then we should take some measures such as putting down the window, increasing the ventilation, the fresh air that comes in to dilute the CO2 and effectively what we're saying is we're diluting the infection risk possibly that may be in the air and the risk to the occupants in the confined space. So. Next time you're driving with people, next time you're catching an Uber, a taxi, in a train, a bus, or in a confined transportation situation, you can have that in the back of your mind and think about that, folks. Enjoy it, have a great day, and drive safe out there. See you later.